welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of my new Michael Kors purse my eight-week-old is sleeping over there in the rock in place so you'll probably hear some baby noises and the sound of the motor of the rock in place so I apologize but it's kind of unavoidable okay you guys are opening this with me for the first time I have a Michael Kors purse right now and you can see that purse in my what's in my bag video I'll link that below but basically I got that purse last year at Nordstrom rack so I don't even really know what the name of the bag is but I've used it for a year now it's done me proud but it's starting to slouch on the sides and it was time for a change anyway so this is the one that I picked out the good news it's on huge sale right now and I'll put a link to this purse below as well so let's get started I have never ordered a Michael Kors purse online before so I've never had an official unboxing so that's why I'm doing this it's just very exciting when you get your purse in the mail and I've waited to open it <laughs> so that I could open it with you guys so here is what it looks like when you open the box we've got some shiny Michael Kors paper kind of like the wrapping paper that they wrap it in when you buy a Christmas gift speaking of Christmas coming up soon I probably should start shopping okay is it going to be as cute as it was on the website okay now we have a bag Hopefully, oh, hopefully there is like a holder inside here that I can stuff inside the purse so that it doesn't slouch whenever I'm storing it because that's the main problem with the bag that I have right now. Okay. It is definitely as beautiful as I pictured it to be on the website in person. There's our charm. Dutchie wants to get in the box. I think that the rose gold mixed with the gold hardware, I think that it's a good combo together. has a little pocket on the front. I like this that I like that this one isn't as big as my other purse. That's a huge plus. Okay, so in this pocket it's actually kind of like a little wallet in there. If you can see it has like little places that you can put your cards. Okay, I had the hardware messed up because there's like a little plastic thing right here. Touch this. Okay, now that I've got that off, really, Duchess? Okay. That is how the hardware looks. If you guys can tell, it looks like there's kind of a film on the metallic part of it. Oh, here, I need to take these off. There's like little plastic things over the feet. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing right now that I do not like, and I'm going to have to figure out how to clean that off. There is like a film. So like, look, when I do like that, there's like a film, and I don't know if that's from the packaging or what that's from, but I'm going to have to try and... The back doesn't look as bad. This is rose gold. You can't really see how rose gold it is because of the lighting in here, but it's, it's very, I mean, it's very rose gold. It's very pink, and you can see how the difference is between the hardware and the metallic on the purse. 
I'm gonna have to get some sort of cleaner and try and get this film off before I finish the video because I if that doesn't come off I'm gonna have to email them I don't know what that's about but I like this really light leather too I think it looks really good against the rose gold okay inside of course they do have it packed with tissue so that it doesn't this one doesn't seem as soft though as my other bag my other bag is like a canvas I think type no not canvas it's like a I can't even think of the what the fabric is but it slouches a lot easier this is a lot stiffer so I don't think it'll slouch like my other bag because that slouching is driving me insane note to self stuff it with tissue when you're not using it Okay, in this first opening, there's two little pockets right here, and they've just got a big opening like that. The inside, okay, the inside is like a light, light tannish goldish color. Then there is a, this is the same type of pocket that was in my other one, it's just like a flat one. This would fit like an iPad mini in there. And then we've got a big pocket in the back. I don't really know. Does anybody know what this is for? I'm not like a purse guru. I don't know like what these cords and clips are for. But if you know what that's for, leave a comment. And then Dutchie. And then back here we've got two little pockets. And then the zipper on the back another pocket right there and I've got a care card in here maybe it will say okay recommend wiping with a soft damp cloth to remove surface dirt okay so I'm gonna get like a just like a warm wet rag and try and wipe this film off the outside I think it should probably come off but I'm like keeping my fingers crossed because I, my heart will be broken if it won't come off because I was really looking forward to getting this purse. So it's the Jet Set Rose Gold Snap Pocket Tote. A tech friendly handbag. This is specially designed with a padded interior to fit most laptops and tablets. This would fit a, like I said, like an iPad mini. I don't think it would fit a full iPad. Maybe it would. Okay, so here is what the bag looks like. It's really hard to like see in the lens because it's shiny and metallic, so it's like reflecting the light. But stay tuned, I'm going to get a rag to try and clean the film off. Let's do a before shot. Do you see that film? Not cool. Okay. I'm cleaning it off with this little rag to see if the film's gonna come off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of upset that I have to do this. I think that it should come in the mail ready to wear. I wonder like what the film is from and like maybe that was why it's on sale. I don't know, girl. So far I'm not uh, super impressed. <laughs> I'm gonna crash the party, Dutchie. I don't really like that I'm getting the leather wet by doing this. Now I need to get a dry cloth to see if that'll work. If this has happened to anybody else or if you know what this film is from, please comment and let me know what the deal is. Is this normal? Is it not normal? Should I send a Michael Kors an email? It looks... No, I don't think it is coming off. Okay, I'm gonna get a dry cloth. What do you think, Dutch? helping me. So 
So I think I can get most of it off by doing this, but there's still like a little bit of a film. I feel like I'm not able to get all of it off. I don't want to have to send the bag back and like try it again because if I like try and, well the back looks better, but the back looked kind of, the back looked good to begin with but the front is where it looks weird. I feel like I'm like bending the bag while I do this. I'm thinking that's why this bag is on sale, yes. No. It looks better, but I'm still kind of bummed about it. So this is the Jet Set Travel Medium Metallic Leather Tote, and it was 178. The shipping was free, but the taxes were almost 15 bucks, so it ended up being 192.69 total. So it's a good price. That's the only reason that I'm not like super upset. I didn't pay full price for it because it was on sale. I don't know what the original price was, but it was a lot more than this. Um, but like I said, I will link this purse in the details. Let me know what you guys think about the film being on the bag. Has that happened to you? Do you know why there was a film on the bag? Is there a better way to clean it off? Because the tag just says to use a wet rag, but I'm still seeing a little bit of the film on here. So I'm happy with the bag, but I'm not like 100% obsessed just because of that one minor detail. But I'm excited to carry my new bag either way. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, even though we don't really know how we feel about it. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.